Good morning and welcome to day three of the 30 day challenge where I am committing to doing 30 videos in 30 days and then seeing what happens then. So, but today I was writing some of my new content for some of my workshops and I was looking at doing one on communication and I decided to look at non-verbal communication first. I felt drawn to that. So I was talking about, I was thinking into non-verbal communication and I thought there's four great things you can cover. You can cover body posture, emotional state, you can think of your thoughts and whether you're projecting your energy out or you're bringing your energy back into your frame. Now I'm going to cover each one quickly. So there's the body posture. So if you're slouching and you're contracting, that indicates to your body, so your, your body indicates to your mind, sorry, that you're not very confident. And that's been shown by a lady called Amy Cuddy, a, psychology, a psychologist from Harvard University. And so basically the idea being that when you change your body posture to a really expansive one, what it's been showing is that it increases testosterone and reduces cortisol. And so you end up feeling more confident in yourself. So basically like chest slightly out, arms to the side, head up, looking, looking straight, shoulder width apart, and then slowing yourself down and breathing. And when you get into the habit of changing your body posture, this can have a massive impact on your confidence, as well as non-verbal communication. The next one I wanted to cover was your emotional state. So if you've got your body posture straight, your body posture right, kind of confidence, going in conversation, thinking, you know, just feeling confident in yourself and in your body. The next one's your emotional state. So it's about working out how do you feel? What is your emotional state at the time? Because if you're feeling sad or anxious or afraid or fearful, that can impact how you come across with regards to your communication skills. So if you can work out, okay, I'm feeling anxious. Okay, let's just take five minutes to reverse that into something like I am feeling of peace. So when it comes to changing your emotional state, if you just sit down and you start to visualize, visualize yourself being peaceful or happy and joyful, that will start to change because your mind, your body cannot tell a difference between what is real and what's in your head. So if you can see yourself feeling peaceful inside your head and picture it, then that's going to change the way change the way you are. That, con that comes along quite nicely to thoughts. So alongside your emotional state, you can at the same time you can change your thoughts. These two combined together are super powerful and that's where visualization comes in again as I mentioned in the emotional state. When you visualize yourself being, ama being amazing, being able to communicate confidently and, it and peacefully in your head, that's going to impact how you are as a person. And so when you combine that with the emotional state, boom, you've got it in one. Absolutely incredible thing to do, visualization, things like that. The next one is about bringing your energy back into your frame. So your body is your frame. When you're projecting your energy out to people, quite often people do that because they have a sense and I'm saying this from my own personal experience because I used to be, uh, well, I still am in some respects. I can come across as needy, wanting approval. I'm currently changing them patterns. But when you are needy and you're wanting approval, you are pushing your energy out to that person. It's like, please, please like me. Or if, especially if, you're, if you fancy somebody and you're coming across really needy, you know, you can push that energy to them and it kind of repels them away. 
But when you bring your energy back into your frame, back into your body, suddenly that gives you a whole sense of worthiness, of feeling good in yourself. You create a strong frame of you. So there's four things to take into account. So you've got body posture, you've got emotional state, thoughts, and bringing your energy back into your body. Each one of them is a skill on its own. So I recommend taking time to incorporate each one. And then when you start to incorporate each one, you can move the four at the same time. And with practice, who knows what could happen. Thank you for listening to day three. And I'll see you tomorrow morning.